VidIQ just launched their new AI YouTube thumbnail generator. I'm gonna show you how to use it and we're gonna put it to the test and see if it revolutionizes making thumbnails. If you'd like a trial of the paid account, there's a link in the description below. Okay, let's jump into it. On the left here, you'll see where it says thumbnails. You're gonna navigate right there. And there's a couple different ways to generate a thumbnail. The first one, I created this video. It's just a quick video uh, talking about this uh, vidIQ thumbnail. It doesn't upload the video, it just analyzes it, so I'm not going to fast forward it just so you can see how long it takes to actually create a thumbnail. As it says here, it's up to a minute and right now, of course, it's designing the thumbnail and it's going to give you a preview of three different thumbnails and then you can make adjustments from there. So here are my options for thumbnails here. And as you can see, it says keep describing down here and it'll automatically change this here. And what I can do that I really like, I'm gonna look at all three of these here. And I kinda of like this one the best. And what I wanna do is I want to remove this text right here. So there's a couple different ways that I can do that. I can write in remove text down here at the bottom, or I can just click right here on the magic erase. And then what I'm going to do is go through this right here, and I'm going to erase all of the text. I'll show you how that looks right here. And I'm not sure if you have to fill it all the way in, but I've done it each time. It doesn't take too long. And then what I'm going to do is just click here on erase, and then it'll take a few seconds and it will erase that. If I wanted to erase this, I could do that as well, but I think I'll probably leave that so I can add some text in here. And overall, it looks pretty good. If I want to try again, I can just click up here with a new thumbnail and it will try to design another one for me. And then what we're going to do once this is complete is I'm going to go down here and just describe any change that I would like. And I really like that aspect of it because then I can create whatever type of thumbnail that I want. So it created something pretty similar. And what I found is you can remove people and remove text just by typing down here, remove people and remove text. And then just make the changes there, which of course with this thumbnail won't leave a whole lot left on the screen, but that just gives you an idea of what it looks like. And then once you're done, what you can do, um, is download right over here and it'll download the exact size for you and right here I can go back and undo if I had made a mistake but right here is a plus button if I want to add a layer I can add an image which is kind of nice if you want to put your face in there uh, you can do that or I can add a sticker or text so if I wanted to add text right here I could just put in thumbnail right here generator spell it right and then I can of course move it and I don't like that style there we go and I have a few different fonts to choose from I'm gonna go with this one here the epic and then of course here, I can move it back or forward however I wanna do that. And then of course, I can just move it around wherever I need to. And then if I want to undo that, I can simply do that there. So it has quite a few options. Right now, as far as the stickers are concerned, if I add right here and go to sticker, right now they only have arrows, but they are going to be adding to this real soon. So it gives you an idea of just how this works. I will warn you, once you leave here and come back, 
everything is erased. So just be aware of that. And the second way I can create a thumbnail is just right in here, write what I want. Create a thumbnail that has food cooking over the campfire. And then click create. And just to speed up the video, I'll fast forward this. And right here are my options. I can pick between these or try to generate more. And it really looks pretty good. I like the way it came out once again. If I want to use the magic eraser, I'm just going to see what happens if I don't click on the middle here and just do that. And then erase. Okay, you do have to click on the entire piece of it, which makes sense. So if I want to do that, I can just get rid of here and get rid of that over there and then erase. And it will auto fill in the background. And there I have my thumbnail. Another option that I found is I'll create a thumbnail without people and without text. And then I have Canva, so take it over to Canva and make some adjustments there as well since they just have a lot more tools. But overall, I think this is a great start as far as an AI thumbnail generator and knowing vidIQ, it'll only get better from here.